Welcome to Just the Good Bits. Today we're making a Spanish frittata. Traditionally it has potatoes in it. We're leaving the potatoes out. You won't miss them. This is low carb. It looks good. It tastes great. Refer to the recipe below. You need to do your prep work. The beginning of this recipe is fast paced. You have to have all the prep work done in advance. The oven needs to be set for 350 so you're ready to go when you get there. Don't forget to butter your dish liberally before you add in all your ingredients. We'll be back and make this. We've browned sausage, broke it up. Everybody knows how to do that, and I'm gonna show you. We've got brown bits at the bottom of the pan, which are good flavor. We're gonna start by cooking some of the vegetables, the big pieces first. Can't take a little longer to cook. Onions, mushrooms, we're gonna stir them in here. Now that will actually deglaze as they're sweating to get the brown bits up. We're gonna do that for two minutes, then we're gonna add the other two ingredients, three ingredients here. We'll be back in a minute. We got one cup of wedge mushrooms, one cup of onions sliced. We also have, we're gonna put in later, one cup of ribbon sweet peppers. And this is just one ribbon jalapeno. Uh, I'd say it's about a quarter cup. Just want to show you, the brown bits are starting to come up as the, the vegetables are sweating. The onions are starting to get translucent and soft. It's now time to add our peppers. We got ribbon jalapenos. That's one ribbon jalapeno. One cup of ribbon sweet peppers. We're going to mix those in. And that should finish what the brown bits are flavor. We're trying to get all that flavor up. And we need to soften it before we put it in the eggs and bake the eggs. Or uh, they won't be done. We'll have raw vegetable. We'll be back. Yep. We're back. We have sweated our vegetables. And as you can see, the sweat from the vegetable has deglazed the pan. We've got all the flavor in there. We're going to finish this up. We're going to add a quarter cup of green onions. Add our brown broke up sausage to reheat it a little bit. How much sausage? That's four ounces of sausage. We're gonna mix this up, let it reheat, and then we're gonna put this together and put it in the oven. Okay, that's good enough for the mixture. Now we're gonna take this, put it in our bowls. You may have a little left over, you can put it in other ramekins. You want to butter these liberally or they won't come out. You don't want to fill it up more than half full, you won't have room for the egg. We got a little left over, we'll make something on the side later with that. Omelette. Omelette, there you go. We're gonna whip the egg. Before we whip the egg, we're gonna add a little ground pepper. A dash of salt. We're gonna use a little hot sauce. We're using Cholula here. Use whatever you want. These vegetables, you can vary them. Use anything you want. You can call this refrigerator stuff you want. Just remember, try to keep it low carb. This is six eggs. Now, I'm gonna take this and pour over. Traditionally, potato has potatoes in it. We're doing this low carb. We took the potatoes out. We'll cover a little bit of grated cheese here. This is four ounces of grated cheese. We're going to try to divide it between the top of both of these here. We're going to bake this at 350. I'm not sure exactly how long we want the eggs to congeal, so we're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to pop it in the oven, and we'll be back. Okay, we're going to flip this out, show you how we're going to do this, and make our final presentation. It pops right out. We're gonna, if you want to make this a man sized meal, a little bigger, you got a mountain of a man like me, you want to fill them up a little more, you can take a sausage patty, put it on the bottom. Now we're gonna take it, flip it over for presentation. Flip it out. We're gonna take a knife, we're gonna cut it in half, show you what the presentation is gonna look like. So you can see the inside. Now, doesn't that look lovely? And we got our leftover bits. We can add that to it and embellish it. 
Now, what mountain of a man on a low carb diet wouldn't love that dish? It's time to dig in so you can see what the taste test is like. Ready, folks? Man, that's great breakfast for a low carb. I love it. Thank you. We'll be back for more later. I gotta finish this dish.